What time do your parents get home, Julian? In like an hour. Why? An hour? Oh, so neat. Yeah, yeah. I can, I can use burger. Drive through. Yeah. Why am I here? <laughs> you really have to ask that question? You know what you did. No, honestly, I don't. What did I do? This is about bull, and it is about lies. Bull lies. Bull lies, bull lies, bullies, bullies, bull, bullies. You understand what he's saying? Bullies. You're a bully, Julian, and you know it. Wait, you think that I've been bullying people? No, no. <laughs> I know that you've been bullying people, and you know our stand. In my school, we have a zero tolerance policy on bullying and on lying. You listen to Principal Steele. Wait, that's ridiculous. The only people that have been bullying anyone was Tyler and Riley. Tyler and Riley? You want to pawn it off on them now? I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. I notice how you say it was Tyler and Riley. Mm -hmm. That means it's them no longer, and it's somebody else. And I think I'm looking at him right now. No, you don't understand. Look, Just give me a minute. I can explain. <laughs> oh, you not only have a minute, you have an hour, mm -hmm. right? You just told me. So you, you go ahead and explain. I'd love to hear this. It's called a confession. Fine. I will explain. It started off just like any other day. Right on time. You got our money? Oh, come on, guys. Cough it up. Three bucks? Are you kidding me right now? That should be at least ten. Well, that's all I have. It's not good enough. You're gonna need more than this. Well, I... What are you looking at? Well, it's, um... You're wasting our time. We don't like our time wasted. Do we, Tyler? We do not. Good morning, fellas. That should be enough to cover my friend and I. This is good. Why can't you be more like Gavin? Come on. Gonna need more money next time, okay? Okay. Hey, Parker. Thanks for the help. It looked like you guys had it covered. You couldn't have done something. Just see these arms? Whatever. Don't worry. I'll share my lunch with you. My mom packed a few things here and there that I don't really care for. You can have those. Gee, thanks. I have some money, so I, I can help you too. I thought you gave Tyler and Riley all your money. No, no, no. I only gave them 20. The real money is tucked away safely. Like so. And the real trick, throw them off with the envelope. When the money you need is right here in your sock. That's smart. Yes. Hey, guys. Hey, Brian. So is Parker the only one eating, or what? Well, we're both eating, because this. They got you, too. Yep. They got me, too. They shook it out of me. Oh gosh, that's all I've got. How much do you think he weighs? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> like a pinata. Thought you said that's all you had. It, this is just getting plain ridiculous. When they came up to us, we let them know what to do is. Aw, how cute. You two are on dates. Isn't that romantic? Too bad it's payday. Let's see what you got. Yeah, cough it up. Hand it over. What's going on? Don't worry, we'll handle this. You think you're taking our money? Our money? What? They're trying to take our money? Yeah, our money? Our money? Our money? Yeah! They must not know who we are! They must not! Ladies, if you'll please excuse us and walk away so you don't see the horror of what's about to happen to these two. Okay, but be careful. We'll be alright. Just this. Alright, what you got? Here you go. That's what okay. I thought. Hey! Oh, hey Marissa, what's up? So, me and my friends are sneaking into an R-rated horror movie. You wanna come? It's gonna be fun. Maybe. Wait, 
What does any of this have to do with bullying? Trust me, it all ties in. Look. Hi, boys. So I'm sure you've heard about my party already. Good. Two weeks from this Saturday, I want you all to be there. Make sure you bring a gift. Can Marissa come? Who? Scroll, right here. Yeah, sure. Just bring a gift. Hey, Dakota, will you go out with me? Ew, gross. Wow. It's okay. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, it's my What was that? I don't know. I know you like Julian. Just tell him. Yeah, it's fine. Are you playing hard to get? Because if you are, it's really not working. She's up to class. Did you see the way he was looking at Katie? I mean, you better do something fast or Katie's gonna steal him from you. Okay, class. Today we will continue our discussion of famous authors in the 21st century. Is there anyone who would like to tell me what they learned in reading The Alchemist. <laughs> yes. I didn't read the story. That's great, you're gonna fail the test. It's about an alchemist. That's the title, correct. Never give up. Right. Julian, is there a reason why you're not paying attention in my classroom? Um, sorry, Miss Reynolds. Paget actually what? had a question and she just wanted to know what the answer was. Julian, I'm sure if Paget has a question, she's gonna ask me and not you. So let's pay attention in class, okay? Okay, Miss Reynolds. Continuing, yes. What was the question? Really? I can't believe they took all my money in the cafeteria. Now I'm broke. <sighs> Sorry to hear that, Elliot. Thanks. That sucks. Done. I got pants. What? Pants! Pants! <laughs> That's so ugly. I know, right? <laughs> oh. Hey, Mandy. Hey, Liam. <laughs> Let's go, guys. All right. <laughs> you see, this is what I'm talking about. We gotta do something. Like what? I don't know. Something. These guys have been bullying us forever. It needs to stop. I uh, could ask my dad's limo driver to take us to school and pick us up after. Uh, that wouldn't work. They just got us during school. We could uh, call the police. What? No. Just. No, uh, any other ideas? You guys are pathetic. It's not our fault. They're bigger and stronger than us. There's nothing, nothing we can do. It's true. Well, maybe if we... Hi, boys! I brought you some warm cookies, and I can get some ice-cold milk. Mom, seriously? I'm sorry, honey. I just thought your friends might want a nice snack. No, no, we don't want a nice snack. Okay, sweetie. I will just set them down right here for you, just in case. Well, just in case. Set them. Okay. Bye. Door. I'm going. All right, you guys are all by yourself now. I'm really sorry about that. Could we just go? Uh, hello? Guys? G guys? Guys? Okay, so back to business. What are we gonna do? Well, the only way that we'd actually beat Tyler and Riley is if we were bigger and stronger than them, which we're not. What is one, two, three, four, five, six? There's six of us. That's not enough. There's still Parker and Josh. Well, then that makes eight. That's still not enough. Hey! I'm just checking to see how you're enjoying the cookies! Mom, seriously, again? I know you're busy, busy, busy doing lots of good stuff. Don't let me interrupt. Pretend I'm not even here. Mom, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm just so proud of you, sweetie. My son is a leader. I'm going to go post this to my wall. 
That, that I'm done. Think of something and no more meetings at my house. Okay, so it seems that we're waiting for a few more people to show up, but let's get the meeting started. Brian? So, we've all been bullied, right? We're gonna try to get it to stop. Immediately. Tyler and Riley use their size to intimidate everybody. So, if we stick together as a group, we can stop them. I like it. Uh, yeah, I'm in. He's kind of cute. I know. He's, He's a new kid. Should talk to his Excuse me, do you have a pen I could borrow? Sure. That shirt looks really good on you. Thanks. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> How did that happen? Was there a problem, newbie? That's what I thought. I'm down to help, too. Oh, hey, Sam. What's up? Oh, hey. Mm. Ooh, flat tire, huh? Uh, yeah, it's brand new, too. Oh, it's nice. That is a Thanks. bummer, dude. I tell you what, why don't you let uh, me and Riley take care of it, and uh, we'll fix the tire, get it back to you, good as new. You would do that? Yeah, of course we would do yeah, that. Why not, dude? No way. Uh, do you guys still have my skateboard, though? It's been like two months. Oh, your skate, right, your skateboard, yeah. Um, we were gonna tell you we lost it. What? Hey, your birthday's coming up, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. we'll make Brand up for it. Brand new one. Promise. Brand new one. Promise. So, right. why don't we just take it? Yeah, we'll just and, uh, take care of this for you. And maybe about a couple weeks. Everything. What? That's way too long. You can't rush these things, dude. Thanks, guys. And also, I think that... Oh. Here come some more recruits. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> Parents are going to bring my sister along. Cute lemonade stand. What's going on, little ladies? Nothing. Nothing. Looks to me like you're selling lemonade. No, no, I didn't give you permission to do that. No, I didn't give you permission either. So you're gonna have to pay a penalty if you want to stay in business. Why don't you leave her alone? Why don't you leave her alone? Why don't you shut up? Yeah, shut up. It's okay, Dana. Look, I'm barely making ends meet as it is. Is that right? What's this? Nothing. Yeah? We'll be the judge of that. Hey! Shut up! Leave my sister alone! Yeah? What are you gonna do about it? He's a black belt in karate. Don't mess with him or you'll be sorry. Oh no. A black belt in karate. I'm shaking. What are you gonna do? Huh? Hit him! Hit me! <sighs> That's what I thought. We'll be taking this. See you later. I thought you said he was a black belt in karate. The more the merrier. So, as I was saying... Yes? Are there gonna be snacks at this meeting? Seriously? No, I'm sorry, there's no snacks. Back to the topic. If we stick together, Tyler and Riley will have no choice. They expect us. And if they mess with one of us, <gasps> they mess with all of us. I just want to know if you guys are really committed and you want to do this. <laughs> Can someone get her some snacks? Oh, please. Please. Oh, just, please. Okay. So tomorrow we're going to meet Tyler and Riley and tell them that we're not going to stand for their bullying anymore. And once they see our numbers, They'll have no choice but to fear and respect us. Everyone in? Yeah. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I got I'll you. be there. there. All right. I got you back. Meet tomorrow, 2 o'clock. Great. I'll, I'll be there. Okay. okay. Hey, guys. Excuse me for just a second. Hey, Liam. 
I have to meet your dad for dinner with one of his business associates. So, I have someone coming over to babysit you, okay? Mom, I don't need a babysitter. Uh, yeah, you do. You're not old enough to stay home by yourself. Yes, I am. I do it all the time. <laughs> okay. Well, she should be here any minute, so say goodbye to your friends. Mom! Don't mom me. And you make sure you're on your best behavior. I always am. It's the sitters that are the problem. Okay, Liam. Eight sitters in five months, and the sitters are the problem? Really? Yes! You're finally getting the picture! Z zip it. No, that's probably her. Hi, Summer, so good to see you. Hi, it's so nice to meet you, Miss Green. This must be the famous Liam I've been hearing so much about. So nice to meet you. Well, this is great. I think you two will get along famously. So do I have a really good feeling about this. Okay, well, all the numbers are in the refrigerator. Uh, we should be back by 10. His dinner is in the refrigerator. And the uh, Feldmans are next door if you have any emergencies and can't get a hold of us. And everything else is pretty much laid out. Oh, make sure he's in bed by 8.30, 9 o'clock. Sounds great. Okay, gotta go. Have fun. You behave, okay? Mwah. Love you. Everything will be just fine. Don't worry about it. Bye. All right, time for bed. Chop, chop. It's only five o'clock. Mm, I don't care what time it is. I've got a friend coming over and I don't want you running around screwing everything up. You know, this is my house, right? What was that? Huh? Sorry? Bye bye. Good night. So, this is when you started your gang? It's not a gang. I'm a good student. All right, well, why don't we make sure? I've got your file right here, Julian. Let's take a look. Um, Mathletes. <laughs> Glee Club. <laughs> Honor Roll. <laughs> yeah, like any good mobster, he has a legitimate business cover. Mm-hmm. You in the construction, Julian? You in the sanitation business, Julian? You ever been to the Meadowlands? Where's Jimmy Hoffa? I don't know. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Code of silence. Okay, look, guys, my friends and I formed a group because we knew that in order to take down Tyler and Riley, we needed strength in numbers. <laughs> strength in numbers. Well, <laughs> that actually sounds like a, a really good idea. Wish I had that when I was a kid. Oh, come on, McMuffin. I told you it is McMurphy. Oh. Nobody calls me McMuffin anymore. All right, there, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Can we just not go into all that now? You get shoved into a trash can one time. Oh, and then you roll around and yeah. they light you up and you blow up. I got it. Yeah, I had burns. I had scars. I had psychological scars. I don't know. You didn't hear anything. There's a time and a place. I guess I did. I guess I did. I actually did. What's going on here? We're not taking any more of your bullying. Is that right? Yeah, enough is enough. Ooh, enough is enough. <laughs> what are you and your gang of zeros gonna do about it? Zeros. <laughs> I like that. We're warning you. Run! <laughs> okay, so does anyone want to tell me what happened out there? There's two of them and all of us. You guys gotta stand tall. Wait, you ran too? Yeah. <laughs> it's not important. Look. We just need a better plan. Does anyone have any ideas? Hey, guys. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, well you should be sorry. You and your loser friends. Where is your gang of zeros? It's just me. We realized we were crazy to think we could take you guys. You're just too smart. So we got you some donuts as a peace offering. You're lucky I'm hungry. Or else I'll make you eat this whole box. Now get out of here before I change my mind. It's good to be king. Is 
that mayonnaise? Guys, I don't know if Parker's gonna make it. I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I'm gonna have to work out. You go to the gym? Yeah. What gym do you go to? So after this, you guys wanna come over to my house and play Call of Duty? Yeah. You all set this up? You're dead. I don't think so. So your days of bullying are over. I haven't heard this story before. Yeah. It ends with them running as soon as we make a step toward them. Not this time. <gasps> oh, oh, look. They brought more people. How cute. Still not enough. Is this supposed to stop us? Look at you all tomorrow, individually, and be way worse. We promise. This isn't over. You're right! This isn't! I wish I'd seen the looks on their faces. That's <laughs> pretty funny. Bullies. That's clever. <laughs> but violence is never the answer. That's right. You remember that. <laughs> I guess I had you pegged all wrong there, Godfather. <laughs> You're free to go. <laughs> no, wait, 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 not so fast. What about that bully protection program? Yeah. Yeah, what about that bully protection program? <laughs> mm -hmm. You sit yourself back down. There you go. You're not going anywhere. Fella. Start talking. All ears. It was all Brian's idea. It's all in the eyes. You gotta look her in the eyes and tell her she's beautiful. And give her the look. What look? You know. Look. You're a beautiful girl. Terrible. <sighs> really? It's not cool. Don't listen to him. Just be you and you'll be fine. That may work for you, but not for him. Trust yeah. me, he needs our help. Do it like this. You're so beautiful, Katie. You know what? I think I got, I think I got it. I'm fine. Well, okay. He doesn't need our help. Just don't tell anybody we didn't warn you. Hey guys, all right, so I got some great news. It's been a week since we took care of Tyler and Riley and I'm very happy to report that everyone at our school is happy and bully free. Yeah. But I was thinking, what about other schools? If we start recruiting kids from other neighborhoods and other schools, our group would expand. Then we could start recruiting people from other states and other countries and eventually the whole world. We could stop bullying altogether. We don't have the resources for that. But that's the beauty of my plan. See, if we make our small group more like a club, we could charge some dues. I'm sure people would be happy to pay for protection like that. Wait, charge people to be in our group? And what if they don't have money? Well, when they can pay, then we can protect them. But how does that make us any different from the bullies? Guys, we're not forcing people to join the group. 
yeah, but what if someone has a bully problem, but they can't pay the dues to be in the group? Well, like you said, we don't have the resources. Look, I think we should just keep things the way they are. I have to agree with Julian. I mean, it'd be awesome to stop bullying all over the world, but we can't. And I don't think it's right to charge people for our protection. It was a good idea, but let's just focus on the present and Kitty's part and helping Julian. Okay, fine, whatever. I don't need any help. Yeah, you do. We have to work on your walk. What is wrong with my walk? Everything? It, it's terrible, oh. man. Ter terrible. Hey, Julian. Sorry to be wandering by your guys' little meeting without me. I wasn't spying or anything. I just happened to be in the neighborhood. I would have been there if it wasn't for Brian taking me out of the group over text message. Because I'm too small. Did you have something to do with this? Well, either way, you better fix it before I fix your face. This is Liam, so call me back. Hey, did you kick Liam out of the group? Uh, yeah. Why? Look, uh, when we start a membership program, we're gonna need to make the students believe that we can protect them. Liam's a great kid, but he doesn't really project that image of toughness. We had all decided that we were not going to do that. Look, I really think you and the others should reconsider. This is a great idea. Look, even Liam can benefit from it. We can give him a great discount. I'm just not on board with this, and I think that we should just- Listen, we, we can discuss this tomorrow. Okay, fine, but I'm not changing my mind. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, you ready for Katie's party? Oh, yeah, actually, I got her this pink crystal because I remember in fifth grade on our field trip to Seattle, she said that she actually lost one, so I think she'll be surprised that I got her a replacement. Uh, um, my mom's calling me, so, uh, I gotta go. Uh, see you tomorrow at the party? <sighs> okay, see ya. And the next day was the worst day in my entire life. Oh boy, it sounds like it's gonna take a while. I need to stretch out my legs. What are you waiting for, an invitation? Get out of the car. Come on. Stretch. You beautiful girl. Beautiful girl. It's your beautiful girl. That works. Julian, what's up, my friend? Oh, hey Mitchell. Hey Connor. That's our friend Eddie Jenkins. Hi. Uh, so where are you off to? I'm on my way to Katie's birthday party. Aren't you guys going too? We were, but we have to help our friend Eddie with something first. Oh, actually, maybe you could help us. Hey, hey, good oh. idea. Look, I'm sorry, guys. I would if I could, but I seriously can't. This, I... this won't take long. I'll take this for you. I'm seriously. Yeah. This this long. Guys, really, I can't have to go. No, we need your help. Don't worry. We just need to move something that's too heavy. And since you're here, that'll help. It won't take long. It'll be real quick, I promise. We really appreciate okay, it. Okay, fine. Just make it quick. Okay, but first, I'm gonna get a drink of water. I'll be right back, so... See ya. Me too. Um, Connor, hold, wait up. Okay. Are you thirsty? Do you want a drink? No. Alright, I'm gonna get a drink. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, hurry. Guys, the door's locked. Oh, right. I'm gonna go get the key. I'll be right back. Oh, come on! <sighs> Sorry, Julian. We tried looking for the key everywhere. 
It was actually in my back pocket. I'm sorry. Great. I'm really sorry. It's fine. I'm sorry. Gonna go. I'm sorry. Go. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh yeah. We're good. Yeah. We're good. Hey Parker. Hey Rose. So what's up? Not much. Just eating my cake. Looks like nice cake, huh? Yeah. So I don't really like vanilla. It gives me a stomach ache. Why are you eating it then? Because it's the only cake here. I see. So are you here with somebody? Yeah, I'm here with my friends. Oh, there's one right over there. I gotta go talk to them. Dude, you're late. What happened? It's a long story. How much have I missed? <laughs> well, Katie opened some of her presents earlier, but then her and her crew went inside to change outfits for the third time. I don't understand it. Why do girls need more than one outfit for only one party? It's strange. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, my daughter Katie and her friends. Go get her. Um, gifts? Cute. Hey, this is it. You ready for this? I think so. You got this. She's gonna love it. Just try and remember the little people when you guys start dating. <laughs> I, w I will. All right. Good luck. Got this. Where is Skye? She's supposed to be weeding out all the losers. I don't know. She said she'd be here. Well, she better have a good excuse for being late to my party. Sienna, could you be a doll and go around the party and ask people what they got me? And if it's bad, don't let them in line. OK. Sienna. Sorry, yes, your highness. Better, now go. Really? Ew. <sighs> Happy birthday, Katie. I hope you like my gift. I'm sure I'll love it. <gasps> that is not my gift. Get out. Look, I don't know what happened. I'm sorry, that, that wasn't Get my gift. Get out! Here you go, just something that reminded me of you. Oh, don't worry, it's it's safe. I don't want to have to change outfits again. You won't. I love it. Hey, my daughter told you to leave. Julian, we've got some friends here. Just tell them I don't want to talk to them right now. Okay, your highness. Guess these days. Hey guys, come on in. His highness is waiting for you. Julian, are you okay? I can't believe Brian stole Katie from me. Yeah, that was messed up. Yeah, sorry Julian. Yeah. Guys, I'm fine. Julian, it's us. Look, guys, I appreciate your help, but I just want to be left alone right now. Look, if you want to get tough, I can get tough with him. Yeah. I'll remember that. It's all right. Hello? 
Oh, hey, man, I'm really sorry to see that. No, you're not. It was you who set me up. You needed to be taught a lesson. If you would've just agreed to my membership idea, we wouldn't be in this situation right now. And was it really worth our friendship? Julian, this idea is bigger than our friendship. Once you see my vision come true, you'll know that it was the right thing to do. And what about Katie? No, I'm sorry, but we both like Katie. I just got to her first. You're not gonna get away with this. I already have. I mean, I got the girl, I got all the big kids protecting me, and my membership program starts tomorrow. You know, you could have been a part of this, but unfortunately I'll be doing it solo. You should sign up though. You could use some protection. I'll stop you. Yeah, good luck. Okay guys, we've got some planning to do. Hey there, Elliot. Hi, uh, what's hey, going Brian. on? Nothing. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna cut right to the chase here. You see these streets, Elliot? Yes. You notice something? There's not a bully in sight, right? Y yeah, right. It'd be such a shame if a bully were to come to your house tomorrow and just mess with you. Y yes, it would. Yeah, so, uh, look, I can make sure that that doesn't happen, but I'm gonna need you to tell me everything that Julian plans and does. Okay? Are we clear? Okay, we're clear. Glad. All right, you're good to go. Okay. Elliot? Yeah? Don't tell Julian anything. N I won't. I promise. Hey, Marissa. Stephanie, what's up? You are my hero. Everyone is talking about what you did at Katie's party. It was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. Well, thanks, but that's not exactly what I intended to happen. Either way, it was still cool. What are you gonna do? Uh, I think I'm gonna send her note during class. Do people still pass notes in class these days? I can talk to her for you if you want. Oh, no, I don't think that would be a good idea. Okay, look, I gotta get to class. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, we should probably get to class too. I gotta talk to her. What? Are you serious? She's the enemy. If she doesn't like Julian, I say great. That's one less obstacle in your way. It's not right. I know Julian didn't do anything wrong. I have to try to make it right. You know, sometimes your moral compass is stuck on crazy and it's really annoying. Just come on. And then I said to him, you wish. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's about time. What do you want? I have to talk to you about your party. You mean the party that your friend ruined? That's the thing. It's not his fault. I- Sorry! Hold that thought. You missed my party. Explain yourself. My grandmother got sick. I had to take her to the hospital. And that's why you missed my party? I, I tried. My parents just wouldn't let me. She tried. <laughs> we'll try this. As your punishment, I'm unfriending you for 30 days. What? You can't do that! You can send me a friend request after the 30 days is up and I'll think about accepting you. No, please, just not that! Brought this on yourself. Delete. My life is ruined! <laughs> Wicked. Totally. Now back to you. Listen, I don't want to hear what you have to say. Julian ruined my party, and that puts him in my burn book. And anyone who associates with him is also in my burn book. So watch your back. I'm not afraid of you. Well, you should be. Both of you. Girls. I wish I had the last 30 seconds of my life back. We accomplished nothing by coming in here. Although, the sky breakdown was hilarious to witness. Your final exam will cover chapters 11 through 14. It will be 35% of your grade. There will also be a section where I want you to explain who your favorite author of the 21st century is and why. Julian, why am I not surprised? It's obviously something much more important than my lesson. I want you to come on up here and share it with the rest of the class. Oh no, that's, that's fine. I insist.
Hey everybody, um, since this is the last year of middle school, I was actually thinking that we could do something nice for our favorite teacher, Miss- I'm sure it does not say that. Dear Katie, I'm so sorry your birthday party got ruined. It wasn't my fault. I was set up. Someone switched my gift. I would never do anything to hurt you. Trust me. I've been in love with you since the fifth grade. Let's talk after class so I can explain my side of the story. P.S. You look cute even when you're angry. Smiley face. <laughs> it's cute. How about you take your smiley face over to the principal's office and explain that? You do realize that passing notes in class is going to get you in trouble. And who passes notes anymore? This is 2013. It's called a text message, Julian. <laughs> and there's zero tolerance for that as well. Zero tolerance! It's so sad. She was the love of my life. Even though we had our problems, no relationship can be perfect, right? Sure. I bought her a large popcorn. Hey, I'm tired of watching my sister. Let's go in the back and talk. It was six dollars. It's a lot of money, right? She didn't say thank you. She wasn't that very nice to me. Can I have another one? No. Huh? You've had enough. This was your eighth cup. I'm cutting you off. But, listen. I've been listening to you for the past two hours. I don't got time for this. I'm out of business here. Plus, you're scaring off the customers. Now, finish your lemonade and go home. So, did they call you mom? Nah. I got two days of detention. Brutal! Katie didn't even look at me. Even after Miss Reynolds read the note to the entire class. It was kind of funny. Whatever. It was! I tried talking to her for you, but that didn't help. What'd she say? Nothing good. I mean, are you sure you still want this girl? There are other girls in the world that might be better. Like what? you! I don't know. Other girls? Maybe you. Me? What? No, of course not. What? Are you crazy? What? Shut up. Relax. Sheesh. Nah, Katie's it for me. And I can't let Brian steal her like that. Don't worry, man. We got your back. But what's your plan? I'm working on something. It's going to be hard. He's got all the big kids on his side, except for you. Thank you. Plus, I got the other kids from the other neighborhoods. Yep, and they started collecting money again. Their membership protection fee. They got 40 out of me. So this is where you're having your meetings now? Gotta watch my sister. You're doing a great job. Whatever. I wasn't expecting to see you here. I really wasn't interested at first, but it's not right what Brian's doing. I'm in on whatever you're planning. Thanks. We're gonna need all the help that we can get. I have an idea. Excuse me, mister. Where do you think you're going? Mm, to meet up with my friends. Meet up with your friends. Well, you do know you haven't cleaned your room yet, right? I can just do it later. We asked you two days ago to clean your room. You haven't done your chores. Well, why can't I do it when I get back? Hey, hey, what did your mama say? Yeah, two days. Two days, just to clean his room. And what were you doing for two days? Gentlemen, I believe this is going to help us follow Brian. Dude, that's awesome! What is it? What? Brian is leaving his house with a large backpack. Got it. Okay, uh, you're gonna have to keep a watch over Brian's house by yourself because Jane can't make it. 
Ten four over and out. Ten four. I could say Roger Roger if you'd like that better. No, no, that's fine. Nathan, Brian's coming your way. Alrighty. Not too close! I got it! Shut up! He's gonna see you! I know what I'm doing! Do you want to fly this? Yeah. No! Way too expensive for you! Can you please get off of me? What are you doing? Um, I'm texting my mommy. Mommy? Sorry, Mom! Him. What? Oh, thanks a lot, Elliot. No problem. Just shut up. <sighs> Julian, we lost him. Thanks to Elliot. Thanks to Elliot. Brian. What do you want, Parker? I want to sign up for your bullet protection plan. I have money. Is this a trick? You and Julian just trying to play me? No, no trick. I don't want to go back to the days of Tyler and Riley. Mm -hmm. It's 19 bucks. You can count it if you don't believe me. I don't. Does Julian know you're here? No. All right. Well, this should last you about two weeks. You're gonna have to pay me again mid-month so you won't have any interruptions in your protection. Got it. So are we good? Yeah, we good. Oh, see you tomorrow at Katie's party? Whoa, look, I don't wanna see you or any of the others at this party. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Yeah, Gavin? It's me. We're go. <sighs> All right, guys, this is it. Katie's graduation party. If we fail today, we won't get another chance. Brian's a tough enemy. He's smart. He's cunning. And he knows our strengths and weaknesses. But we can succeed if we all work together. I, for one, can't let him win, and neither can you. You all have your assignments. Let's go. Hello, Mrs. Porter. Hi, this is Mr. Wheeler. I'm one of Brian's teachers. Is everything all right? Everything is all right. I'm just calling because Brian said you were a really cool the wonderful mother who bakes some delicious cookies. We we're having a PTA meeting later, later this week, and uh, we we're wondering if we can include your cookies in the school bulletin. Do you think you could bake us some cookies today? Today? I mean, I guess I could, but I'd have to go to the store and buy a few things. Miss Porter, if I may sound like one of my young students, Brian said your cookies were the bomb.com. <laughs> he said that? Okay, I will, uh, I will go shopping right now. Great. We'll, uh, 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 he also said he really loves your involvement in his life. Even when he's complaining and arguing with you, he feels like your parenting style will be the key to a successful future 
and will help him be a better person in today's society. That is so sweet. <laughs> uh, okay, Mrs. Porter, see you soon. What was that? I don't know, something someone said to my parents and it sounded really good. Okay. I need to talk to you, sir. Can you chill for a You got it. I have to go across town to pick up your dad. His car broke down again, so I asked Summer to come over and watch you. No! She hey, Liam! So nice to see you again. She, she what, sweetie? She. Uh, did I do something wrong? Oh, you know, I think I know what it is. Um, last time I was here, I let him watch a PG-13 movie. Oh. And, you know, I think it really scared him, because when I went in to check on him, his bed was damp with... I don't know. What was that? Sweat? Oh, Liam, did you have a nightmare? Oh, he gets scared so easily sometimes. Oh, it's it's no problem. Um, no more scary movies for you, mister. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. Oh, it's fine. I'm just glad you could come on such short notice. Oh, it's no problem. Can I just go to Elliot's house? I mean, his parents could watch me. No, you need to stay home so you can do your homework, and I'll be home in time to tuck you in, okay? Fine. <laughs> okay, well, numbers are on the fridge. Call me if you need anything, and I should be home in a few hours, okay? Okay. All right, and you behave. All right. Betty, bye. I hate you. Bye bye. Hey, Liam, what's up? I'm in a snag. Can't make it. Wait, what do you mean? <sighs> that crazy babysitter's got this entire house on lockdown. Liam, we need you. I know. I'm sorry. Nothing I can do about it. Okay, stand by. Uh, I have an idea. Noah. Who's the best mom ever? This lady. My cookies are so so gonna rock this PTA meeting. Okay guys, the coast is clear. Okay, we're moving in. Here, take this. What am I supposed to do with this? You don't know how to pick a lock? Do you know how to pick a lock? No. <sighs> Give me that. Seriously, you don't know how to pick a lock, guys? There you go, come on. Sorry to bother you, but is Liam here? Uh, he is, but he's not supposed to have any visitors. Oh, I see. Oh, well, Liam didn't tell me he had such a beautiful babysitter. Huh? <laughs> My name's Noah, and I'd like to know about you. And what it's like to be a babysitter in this town. I'm sure you've got lots of stories. I have a boyfriend. I have a pet goldfish. So? I thought we were talking about things that didn't matter. You're cute. Why don't you give me a call when you turn 21? It's a date. Okay. We got Liam. Okay, great. I'll see you at the party. All right. Give me a second, though. I think I have one more shot with this babysitter. Just thought of a new pickup line. Party. Um, everyone have fun. What? 
I think Julian may be up to something. I don't know what it is. Hey, make sure that Julian and his zeros don't get into this party. Hey, don't worry. All right, there's no way he's getting past us. For your sake, I really hope they don't. Hi, guys. Hey. Oh, hey, um, I tried to add you to my friends list, but I couldn't find your name. Oh, it's Melissa DeLue. That's L-E-E-U-W. Got it. I think she likes me. <clears throat> Okay, good. I just need a few more things, and so do you. I want to go, but if I do, my parents are going to make me drag my sister along. Look, just bring her. We need you. It is not that big of a deal. Do you even know what it's like to have a sister? No, I don't. No, but... you don't. You don't know. Chef Conrad. What? Chef Conrad Nagel. That's my name. Whatever. I need a blender. Now. Hey, something to drink? Oh, thank you. It's okay. chocolate raspberry, so enjoy. Sounds good. Told you she likes me. Be quiet. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Mm. Party's okay. Yeah, it's alright. I mean, I guess it's alright. Yeah. Hey! Don't even think about putting that on the floor, mister! This isn't your house, okay? Uh, <laughs> sorry, it's a habit. So, you wanna dance? No, thanks. Okay. So, how's it going? Sorry, I don't dance. Uh, okay then. Hey, you better turn around. You are not getting in here. Look guys, I just want to talk to Brian. Well, he doesn't want to talk to you. Chocolate raspberry, right? It's a pretty good laxative, huh? My grandma drinks it every day. I'd say you guys have about maybe three minutes, but well, considering the bathroom's on the second floor and there's a lot of party traffic, I'd say you need to get going right now. I don't know what he's talking about. I feel great. Yeah, dude. Maybe it's great, but you know, it's okay. At least okay. I'm just fight through him, man. How lucky you feel to be with me. Mm, well. Hello? Hey, uh, I was just calling to say, first of all, nice graduation decorations. They look great. Oh, hold on, hold on. It's around the corner, to your left. Warmer. Warmer. Hey. I'm impressed. How'd you get in? Laxative in the drink. One trick pony? Whatever works. Look, I don't know why you're here, but you have a few minutes to tell me before I get you thrown out. I just thought that you wanted your money back. What are you talking, what money? You know, the money that you collected for your membership fee. Also, the same money that you keep hidden, well hidden, in your dad's old toolbox, knowing that your mom would never look there. H how? Just tell everyone that you set me up at Katie's birthday party and that your membership program is a complete scam and I'll give you all the money back. Fine. Follow me.
Okay. It's all here. Now, just press record. And once you give it back to me, I'll give you the money. Fine. Okay, I confess. I tricked Julian into giving Katie the bad gift, and I gave Katie Julian's gift. And what about the money? My membership program is fake. I'm just using the money for my own personal gain. Here. You know, funny thing about recorders, they only work when you press the record button. See, that's your problem. You're too trusting. It makes you weak. I know I shouldn't have trusted you. Yeah, you shouldn't have. But you did. Now I have the money and your girl. I win and you lose. And how can you live with yourself? Very well, actually. Because of all these stupid kids banging me for protection, my girlfriend could live very well, too. So you're saying that you're not using the money to protect the kids? From what? We took care of the bullies, remember? Just put out a bully scare every now and then, and they'll pay a lot of money just to feel safe. Well, it's too bad everyone's going to know. What? Are you going to tell them? <laughs> no, of course not. You're going to tell them. What are you talking about? Gavin, press send. Copy that. How can you live with yourself? Very well, actually. Because of all these stupid kids banging me for protection, my girlfriend could live very well, too. So you're saying that you're not using the money to protect the kids? From what? We took care of the bullies, remember? Just put out a bully scare every now and then, and they'll pay a lot of money just to feel safe. We went on money back! Look, we went on money back! Okay, okay listen up, everybody! Give us harm. What Brian did was wrong, but it showed us an even bigger problem. Living in fear. We shouldn't have to fear going to school. We shouldn't have to worry about being bullied or being treated badly just because of our height, color, size, or whatever. We should support each other and find supportive friends that will build us up, not tear us down. If we all treated each other how we wanted to be treated ourselves, the world would be a better place, not a bitter place. And can you all just please try to be nice to each other? Am I going to get my money back? Yes. Mm. Everyone can get their refunds from me. I didn't want to tell him anything. He made me do it. I feel terrible. It's okay. I forgive you. Everyone follow me for your money. You got it, Trey. Hey, Jules. This isn't over. We're still gonna go. Anytime. How about right now? Care to step outside and sell this like men? Gladly. Man, you should've never came to this party. Oh, you knew this was gonna happen. I'm gonna crush you like Don't a twig. No, no, you're not. You it. You That's it. Get it's getting serious. Oh, God. It's getting serious. Take it. Take it. What are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do? Oh, that's what? so sweet. Make There's a stop. Let's go. You no, know, you know I wish a boy would fight over me. I found you. Those are our friends. Best friends. I would do the same with you. What are you talking about? You don't. You can't even punch. We don't know that. Yeah, I've never seen him before. You won't teach your dad ever. What? Remember, you, 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 you need pills. You need pills. You need pills. You're crazy. You're crazy. Give me, give me this. Give me, give me. You, you need a You need medicine. You need medicine. Come here. Come here. You're nothing. You're nothing. You ain't got nothing. You take away that time. You got nothing. You just, you end the show. End the show. You ruined my dress, framed Julian, and stole money from all the kids at school just to try to impress me. I can explain. No one has ever gone through that much trouble for me. I'm flattered. What? Come on, let's go inside. You can tell me about all the things you were going to buy me with that money. Come on. What has she seen him that she doesn't see in me? You're a great guy, Julian. Not the best fighter, but a great guy. Gee, thanks. And if she doesn't recognize your good qualities, then she's not the right girl for you. You know what, Marissa? You're a good friend. Yeah. About that. What was that all about? I like you, Julian. You're probably surprised, and I should have told you before. But you don't have to say anything. Just think about it. 
That was the worst kiss and profession of love I have ever seen. That was a total train wreck. I actually could have skipped that. Is he looking? Oh gee, he is. He's looking at you the way he looked at Katie. See? Never doubt my skills. Whatever. Hey, Megan. OMG, I told you it was over. Stop smothering me. We went out on one date. Get over it. When my eyes saw you. My eyes saw you. <laughs> Ooh, you work out? Yeah. Hey. Come on, let's go. <sighs> Excuse me, David. Don't you see I'm busy? A little privacy, please? Huh? You're seriously cramping up my style, man. Just go over there and I'll tell you when I'm ready. Ah. <sighs> Is everything okay? My brother, he just keeps smothering me. I don't know where he would be without me. Yeah, who hasn't been there? No. You know, I don't approve of your methods, but I do understand why you did what you did. However, you need to know, you do not take matters into your own hands. There are plenty of adults you go to. You can go to the principal first. You can go to the school cop. Detective. You can go, you can go to the school cop. You can go to your parents, teachers. There are plenty of adults you can go to, you understand? Yeah, I understand. Respect your elders. All right, go on, go on home. I think you got it. Okay, thanks, bye. Okay. Well, I think we, uh, we really made a difference today. <laughs> yeah. Parker, what's up? Another school of bullies. No problem.
Dear Zeros, I don't know who else to turn to. Every day I'm constantly being bullied at school and it's to the point that I don't even want to go. I've heard many stories of you successfully putting an end to bullying at other schools and hope you can do the same at mine. Please come, I really need your help. Are you sure you want to send that? What do you think? I think you're inviting unnecessary trouble. Well, it's a good thing I don't base my decisions on what you think. Look, you know I've got your back, but people are talking about these zeros. They want them to clean up our school. Are you sure you know what you're doing? I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm sending a message that opposing me is a bad idea. And when I'm done, I'll be known as the one who destroyed the zeros. The zeros.